Now batteries, we upcycle batteries from electric mobility. So we give modules, lithium ion battery modules, a second life, a second productive life of seven to 10 years before they finally get recycled. And we produce with these modules, modular, mobile, and multi-purpose batteries, which are used in multiple ways in multiple industries. I'm an engineer by education and I drive electric cars since they exist. And at some point I ask myself the question, so what happens to these batteries when they come out of the electric car? And to be honest, I found that this is a huge problem because in a couple of years from now, we will have a tsunami of used batteries coming towards us. Just take the sales figures of the electric mobility, shift them by eight years, and you know how many million batteries come to us. It's enough battery power to power a city like Paris on pure battery power for more than 60 days. So we developed this idea to upcycle them and give them a second productive life in the spirit of circular economy. The philosophy of batteries is to really follow the circular economy. The circular economy is based on four R's. Let me just quickly explain what this is. The first one is reduce. So we have designed a modular system to give the customer just what he needs, but not more. So you adjust capacity and power to the demand. And the second thing is of course reuse. So give them another productive life of seven to 10 years to really squeeze out the last bit out of a battery from a CO2 and environmental footprint. The third one, very important, is repair. So we want to keep this battery alive as long as possible, so we must make it repairable. And that has already been considered in the design of the battery. And of course, last but not least, the fourth one is recycling. We guarantee recycling at the end of the second life life cycle to bring the raw material back into the material cycle. We have multiple applications. You have to think about where today a generator is used, a fuel-based generator, we can replace it with our battery-powered mobile systems. Examples are the lighting and filming industry, where they are heavily used, the entertainment industry, disaster relief, and even small electric vehicles for e-mobility on the ground, like three-wheelers or small four-wheelers or electric boating. Um, a very simple answer. Um, we already shipped systems to the Ukraine and they are used in emergency rooms in hospitals, so they save lives. And I don't think there is a more impactful way of reusing <laughs> batteries than this one. So that's for the moment my very much preferred uh, application, I have to say. I must say I'm, I have a corporate background myself and I'm really impressed by how mobilize and the wider Renault approaches this question in the cooperation. Uh, it's the ideal partner for many reasons. First of all, we share the same vision of uh, circularity. Um, we share the same vision of innovation and we share team spirit. So it's really easy to work together and we as a small startup need an industrial partner for scaling. And impact comes from scaling, right? So we are ideal partners because we, I think, are innovative, we are fast, but we need an industrial partner to industrialize our solutions, bring it to scale. So the first step is to collect the battery from the vehicle. So thanks to Renault dealers all over the world, we collect the batteries and they come back to us. The first step is to qualify the battery to be sure that they are ready to start their second life. And after this, like in the example that you have here, we'll make some industrialization of these new batteries in a new system with a new design, I would say. So here it's a smaller battery. So with one original automotive battery, we can produce six portable like this one. So I'm very proud of the quality of the product which goes out of the flower, thanks to Batteries and the team. And I'm also very happy to see that a big group like Renault and Mobilize can support some smaller team and startup with so nice projects. So you can see that uh, now we put the battery into the casing ready to be delivered to the final customer. So the loop is closed.